Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wassalamu ala rasulullah, we'll continue reading from Imam al-Ghazari's The Jews of the Qur'an, Jawahir al-Qur'an. We have reached Surah Fatir, um, and Imam al-Ghazari chose 13 uh, verses from this particular surah as Jews. Uh, Fatir, the originator, uh, originator of the uh, of this universe of heaven, earth, and all therein, uh, really, as we shall uh, read from the uh, first verse. We are on page one thirty. If you are following uh, Muhammad Abu Qasim's translation, so Imam Razali begins with. Uh, the first three verses uh, of the surah then shifts to uh, verse 9 and we'll try to see as much as possible uh, in between uh, we have mentioned this before uh, several times and we are uh, uh, it's an attempt to understand why Imam Ghazali chose these particular verses uh, there's a certain pattern um, the verses that address creation, also uh, uh, the, um, the origination in this in this context that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, is the originator, al Fatr, Fatr Samawat wal Ard, also uh, entails uh, the notion of uh, uh, of creation. So this is uh, almost in every selection that uh, Imam Ghazali uh, did thus far uh, the notion of creation has been uh, part of uh, of his uh, selection so alhamdulillah fatir samawat al ard ja'al malaikatu rusulan uli ajnihatan mathna wa thalath ruba' yazidu fil khalqi ma yasha inna allaha ala kulli shay'in qadir all types of perfect praise belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to God alone, who is the originator of the heavens and the earth. Father is love. Who appoints the angels, his messengers, in, in a different context of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses uh, messengers from amongst the uh, from amongst the people and from amongst the the angels, having two, three, and four wings. He adds to his creation whatever he pleases. Surely God has the fullest power over everything. Uh, there are uh, there are there are creatures that uh, move on their uh, bellies. There are creatures uh, that uh, move on two legs. There are creatures that move on four legs. There are creatures that move on. Uh, six, and you can think of a uh, millipede uh, uh, insect. Subhanallah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using the uh, example from the things that we see in order to address that which we ourselves do not see. Uh, I think it's appropriate to say that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so the uh, archangel uh, Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, uh, who's also described in the Quran as the uh, Holy Spirit. This is very important. Um, so you will find in the in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa taala, God is mentioned in, in the same verse. God is mentioned there. Uh, this the Holy Spirit, uh, which is Jibreel alayhi salam, the archangel. Uh, and Jesus Christ, peace upon him, also mentioned in the uh, in the same verse. Uh, but there is no Trinity, and there will be no Trinity, of course. That's Islamic theology. Um, just uh, uh, just a couple of verses before the uh, uh, verse of the throne, Ayat uh, al-Kursi. Um, these were the messengers we have ranked some above the other we have preferred uh, favored some above the uh, other تلك الرسل فضلنا بعضهم على بعض منهم من كلم الله الله سبحانه وتعالى spoke uh, to some uh, 
ورفع بعضهم درجات and he raised uh, some of them uh, uh, to higher uh, degrees وأتينا عيسى بن مريم البينات and we have uh, given Jesus Christ son of uh, Mary the signs, clear signs وأيدناه بروح القدس and we have supported him with the uh, Holy Spirit but uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God uh, and we have the Jesus Christ who is upon him and we have uh, the Holy Spirit an angel uh, uh, a prophet a messenger a human being and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God but uh, what I'm trying to say is that the Prophet saw so Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam uh, the Archangel uh, Gabriel he saw him twice he saw him um, of course more than two but he saw him twice in his original uh, uh, form uh, typically uh, the uh, the prophets would uh, have encountered uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the angels in their anthropomorphic uh, form it does not change their nature but they take that form say for example the angels who uh, passed by uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim السلام, on their way to the people of, of Lot of Sayyidina Lot السلام, uh, so they took it was anthropomorphic form so Sayyidina Rasulullah saw Sayyidina Jibreel in his original form and then uh, uh, once uh, they sailed in al Batha, basically a part of uh, of Mecca, and then the uh, second uh, event that was during the ascension, talk about the uh, night journey, journey at night, and then the ascension al Miraj. Yeah, so he saw him, and then uh, in 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 one of these. Uh, the, the hadith which was uh, narrated by uh, Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet uh, uh, describes Sayyidina Jibreel as having 600 uh, wings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a'la wa alam. Whatever of mercy God bestows upon men, may he be, may be with, uh, held by none. And whatever he withholds may not be released by any after that. ما يفتح الله للناس من رحمة فلا ممسك لها وما يمسك فلا مرسل له من بعده وهو العزيز الحكيم. Once you know and once basically uh, you internalize the idea here, you will have uh, you should have uh, tranquility. Uh, internal uh, and peace vis-a-vis -vis everything that takes place including things that you you might not like and things that you you do like uh, ultimately it's a god-given uh, or things that god permitted uh, to take place Meaning also do not complain. You may change. You may act to relieve the uh, the burden. You may act to uh, end injustice. You may uh, act. But even in the realm of, uh, we believe that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the sustainer. But you need to act again. Um, uh, doing uh, your part in the in the notion of acquisition knowing uh, uh, fully that everything is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the almighty the all wise all oh, mankind remember God's favor to you is there any creator apart, apart from God who provides to you Provides for you from the heaven and the earth. There is no God but He. How then are you turned away? God is 
who sends down the winds which stir up the clouds then we drive them to a dead land dead land arid land dry land uh, and thereby quicken the earth after its death think the human being dying and one day being resurrected likewise is the raising of the dead meaning on the day of the resur resurrection anyone who seeks honor should realize that uh, as a um, the intended meaning here all honor belongs to to god and here berkeley says between three and nine the verses this is a reference to the uh, uh, to the uh, ad hominem attacks against the prophet sallallahu and that when they render uh, when they uh, reject the uh, the prophet um, reject but also they f they accuse uh, the prophet of uh, being a false prophet uh, really uh, other messengers before the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, were subjected to the same thing just simp simply think think of the image like this a prophet, a messenger, is sent to uh, to his own people. The Prophet Muhammad uh, had a universal message, but before that, people were sent specifically to their own, to their own uh, respective people, and they they have no choice but to go public and to speak to people and tell them that God sent them. None of them, none of them was received with open arms we die. there was no euphoria to the contrary people mock them people attack them people also like amongst the uh, people of the book they uh, they uh, killed their own uh, prophets and uh, messengers not all of them of course so they killed uh, um, a number of them and they attempted to kill more When the when the Quran denies the crucifixion, the Quran does not deny that there was an attempt on the life of uh, of uh, Jesus Christ, peace upon him. They thought that there was he was neither crucified nor killed, so there was an attempt on his life. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala raised him, and if you uh, if you carry this the burden of this, uh, you share in the responsibility. You try to advocate the good and prohibit the evil you will be also uh, attacked you know these personal attacks the ad hominem uh, attacks and uh, people should um, uh, believe and also uh, Be sure that the uh, promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, is true uh, and they should not be deceived by this world. I just think uh, the, uh, the promises about the uh, hereafter, though there are also promises about this, uh, this dunya, and there's a, uh, a very important message about Satan being the enemy. Satan is an enemy. Satan is the enemy. The enemy. Uh, so, do take him as an enemy. The uh, Satan's animosity is uh, will will uh, it's ongoing. There is no softening. There is no. Uh, uh, there's no way that Satan will uh, have mercy on you. And his animosity is uh, 
the when amongst human beings the animosity could be could be about material you know material gains they will uh, colonial powers they will take they will kill you they will take your land um, a highway uh, thief uh, like armed robberies today it's about again it's a robbery they, it's a material uh, it's about the material wealth but satan is not interested in your material wealth satan is satan is interested in one particular thing yes satan would like people to uh, uh to quarrel uh, satan would like spouses to uh divorce satan would like people to steal commit adultery uh, do all the wrong same things to gossip to but that's not the ultimate. The ultimate, the ultimate goal of Satan is to get people to the point where they become an, uh, non-believers, unbelievers. كما ثل الشيطان قال الإنسان كفر فلما كفر قال إني بريء منك إني أخاف الله رب العالمين. That's basically uh, Satan. So Satan will. So any any, any small step any. Uh, uh, if you, uh, there are no, it's very clear for Satan. The plan is very clear. So do take Satan as uh, as an enemy. Okay. The animosity of people, despite all the uh, hatred or the, all the acts that we, human beings perform, there is a chance that they might become Muslim. Uh, Sidna Khad al Walid is a, uh, an excellent example. He led he led the army of uh, the uh, uh, of the uh, Meccan idolaters um, against the Muslims. It was uh, I think it's very important. Uh, it's very important to mention that the these wars that took place. It was the Meccans who went all the way to Medina. This is uh, Badr is close to Medina. Uhud is practically in in the in Medina, the mountain. Uh, it's a walking distance, really. Um, the trench. It's in Medina. I mean, they they dug the trench on I think on three sides of Medina. So it was the Meccans time, and again they went back. They wanted to. It was a zero sum game. But Subhanallah, that's what, what that was their intention. They wanted to annihilate this uh, nascent uh, Muslim community. But it's the will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that this uh, Deen, that this religion, that this Dawah will reach uh, far and wide. Uh, as you know, a, a big Muslim community in Cape Town. There are Muslims in all Scandinavian countries. There are mosques within the uh, north, the the, the northernmost part of uh, of the globe. Uh, at least four mosques within the uh, Arctic, uh, you know, uh, circle. But Satan, the, so people could change, not Satan. In the Shaitan, you come to At any rate, uh, uh, so we continue with the with Imam Ghazali's selection. So we have reached, uh, we have read about part of uh, verse ten about Al Azza. Man kain Al Azza fi Allah Al Azza jamian. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to him alone, good words ascend and righteous deeds are raised up by him. Ilayhi yas'adu al-kalimu al-tayyib wal-amalu al-salihu yarfa'u. I think there's more than one possibility in terms of translation, but that's not the uh, issue here. Uh, here is basically... Uh, and righteous deeds are raised up by him, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. But it could be uh, that uh, good deeds would uh, 
uh, support the uh, the uh, good words in in there, uh, you know, to ascend. This is the opposite of uh, those who plan uh, the plot evil. They will suffer a severe punishment and plotting of such uh, people is doomed to fail. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Again, the notion of creation. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you from dust. Allah خَلَقُ مِن تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ مِن نُطَفْتَنْ ثُمَّ جَعَلْكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا there, is some, there are similarities between verses that we have read in previous uh, sessions and this uh, particular notion, خَلْق, the creation, of course, we have mentioned that. Then uh, these are uh, phases, if you will. مِن تُرَاب, that's the beginning. Sayyidina uh, Adam alayhi salam. And then it, it would continue from uh, uh, from a, a sperm drop. So it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you from dust. The translation here um, uh, He made you, uh, he, God created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then he made you pairs. No female conceives nor does she give birth except with his knowledge, with Allah's knowledge. No one who is given long life is, is given it, nor is anything diminished of his, uh, of his long life. Um... Nor is anything diminished of his or anyone or anything, but it is recorded in a book that is the uh, preserved tablet, the protected tablet, uh, which which has basically everything that uh, will take place until the day of judgment. Surely that is easy for God, Subhanahu wa Taala. The two seas, wa ma wil bahran. The two seas are not alike. One is sweet, palatable and pleasant to drink, uh, fresh uh, uh, water, and the other is salt and bitter. Uh, from each you eat fresh meat, fish and other uh, see uh, creatures and bring forth articles, but here definitely it's um, mostly it's a reference to the uh, to uh, uh, to fish, since it does talk about lahman uh, tariya. and bring forth articles that you wear as ornaments, pearls, for example. You see the vessels flowing through them that you may seek of his bounty and that you may be grateful. All these ships that sail through the uh, the seas, the oceans, uh, they uh, they are used other than uh, you know taking passengers from one place to the other. Trade and of course traveling.
So the two seas do not mix. That's the one of the one of the Swamis Tawil Bahram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mages the night into the day and mages the day into the night. So there is no abrupt eulogy. There's no abrupt, you know, it's not that you have darkness and out of a sudden you have, you know, uh, very strong uh, sun shining. No, there's a gradual, the, the day breaks gradually at dawn. And then we have the uh, sunset also. It's a gradual thing. You have the light and slowly, slowly we move into the night. And he has constrained the sun and the moon into services, each running its course for an appointed time, an appointed term. This universe has a term. There's a term for, for human beings, there is a term for animals, there is a term for, for any inanimate, there's a term for this universe. If the sun and the moon, they have an appointed term. And the sun, we can think about, but you know, by extension, every single sun, every single star, and every single moon, every single planet. If they, uh, if the sun and the moon end, what will be of us on earth? Same story. Such is God your Lord. He is the, he is the kingdom. Those whom you call upon apart from God possess no power. What, whatever. Lahul mulk. To him belong the kingdom. His is the kingdom. It's not he, so. His is the kingdom. Do you not see that God sends down water from the clouds? And with it we bring forth fruits of diverse colors. Of the mountains some are streaks white and red of diverse colors others raven black in the same way men beasts and cattle they too uh, have diverse colors of the servants of god it is only those who have knowledge of god that fear that fear him surely god is almighty most forgiving I have always been fascinated uh, by the fact that you have the earth, you talk about uh, literally uh, the dust, and you have water, and you have all these colors, you have all these smells, you have all these states, you have all these shapes of the fruits. It's the same water, it's the same earth. And that's an amazing thing, subhanAllah. You have that which is different, you know, you know, this is sweet and this is sweet and the taste is different. The aroma, the the color, the subhanAllah. In this blessed land of ours, in uh, in the holy land, in the blessed land, in Palestine. If you could, if you could only see how many kinds of figs we have here. Amazing shapes, amazing tastes. Different colors, different tastes. Indeed, it's a blessed land, subhanAllah. And that's not only figs. Surely God holds the heavens and the earth. This they should deviate from their places. There is a certain order in the universe. And one should pay attention to this. There is a certain order in the universe. There is a certain 
and nothing uh, deviates. If they did deviate, none could keep them from that after it. Surely he is forbearing, most forgiving. If they deviate, then all these planets will hit each other. Have they not traveled in the earth and seen what was the end of those before them? And they were stronger than these in power. Nothing is in the heavens or the earth that could frustrate his designs, Allah's designs. Surely he is all-knowing, all-powerful, subhanahu. If God were to catch and that is punish people for that which they do, he would not have he would not leave a living creature on the surface of the earth. But he defers them to an appointed term. It's a day of judgment, it's a day of reckoning. And when their term comes, verily, they'll find that God was watching his servants. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, they uh, what do they what do they own what do they have when uh, in verse 13 when it says uh, when we have read about the uh, uh, the gradual merging of the day and the night and constraining the sun and the the moon um, each have an appointed term such is god your lord his is the kingdom those whom you call upon apart from god possess no power whatever in fact literally in in the in, in arabic and we will end with this and that's missed really in the translation they do not own even the very, very light, delicate skin. You might not even notice that it's there. That covers the uh, the date uh, uh, stone. So when you have the uh, palm uh, palm trees, and you have dates, and they have a stone inside. That stone has a very light skin. Why? Well, just like it. Try to peel it, it will peel. It's just like probably a uh, half millimeter, uh, even probably less. Uh, just very, very light. They don't even own that much. We just simply toy with the things that we have. So inshallah, we have we are done with the uh, reading Imam Ghazali selection from uh, Surah uh, Fatr. And inshallah, we'll continue in the uh, next session from uh, with his selection from Surah uh, Yasin, 25 verses from Surah Yasin, inshallah. Until then, subhanallah, muhammadik. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته